Well, at the time of his death, President Geingob had been receiving medical treatment for cancer. According to his office, the 82-year-old had two medical procedures on January 8th, followed by a biopsy. Namibia's leading opposition, Independent Patriots for Change, has called for calm and urged all party members to stop campaign activities until the late president is buried. Speaking to VOA's Paul Ndio, party leader Panduleni Itula praised Geingob as an exceptional revolutionary an international civil servant and a patriotic statesman. It's an incredible, incredible devastating strategy that the Namibian people have found them in this morning when the presidency of our Republic of the Republic of Namibia announced the passing of our beloved president, His Excellency Dr. Hake Gottfried Kenkop, who was in his second term uh, as president of the Independent Patriots for Change and as someone who stood and contested for the presidency in 2019, it's particularly devastating because it's someone that I have actually dealt with and someone who, after the elections, we maintained a cordial, mature political relationship in which I was also at times invited to State House during State House events at the honor of His Excellency as he entertains international guests and international dignitaries and presidents as well. So it's going to be a very devastating uh, blow to the Namibian president. It's the presidency. It's the first time that the Republic of Namibia encountered such a period where a sitting president passes on uh, almost in the final stages of his presidency. A lot of uh, people have said he was an incredibly, incredibly talented uh, uh, person. Uh, even during his presidency, he went about it uh, very uh, professionally. A lot of politicians uh, tend to uh, do other things uh, to their opponents. Uh, but uh, from your testimony, you just said that uh, he reached out, he extended an olive branch. How would you uh, describe uh, his legacy? I can relate to the relationship that has evolved following our contestation of the presidency of the Republic of Namibia in 2019, where His Excellency scored uh, 464,000 votes, and I was a close second of 249 thousand vote, votes the first ever such a uh, situation emerging in Namibia. Nonetheless, I remember being invited to State House and foreign uh, dignitary, uh, an ambassador asked me, Dr. Itula, what are you doing at State House? In our country, if you contested with the president, then you will not be even seen closer to the State House in the streets and you will be arrested. And I clearly stated what we maintained as uh, uh, His Excellency, the President then of Namibia and myself, is that that where contestation ends, decency and patriotism commences, and we work together as Namibian to build our nation. And he was passionate about building the Namibian house, inclusive Namibian house, where no one should be left feeling left out. How would you want uh, people to remember him? He pronounced himself as a Democrat and believed in the succession of democratically elected presidents. And he is renowned for supporting democratical processes. And he stated not long ago, two, three months ago, that of course Namibians do things differently and that whoever is going to be selected and be given the mandate to govern the Republic of Namibia, that he will be supporting such a person. As a Democrat, he truly believed in that. So he has tried as hard to put Namibia on the international map as a country that belonged, that believed in, in democracy, and he has kept the ship floating on the democratic map indeed. And that was Panduleni Itula, president of Independent Patriots for Change, Namibia's leading opposition party, speaking there to VOA.